Oh, it's a nice one. You got it. Oh, oh it's, if it's a pike, it's a really big one. From a certain size of water, um, when you go pike fishing, you want to look for structure. And some of the structure is visible, yeah, just with your eyes, like you've seen around us here. Jetties, boats, harbors, um, uh, weed lines, maybe stones, rocks, all the bits you can see uh, and where, where bait fish will hang out. That's a good spot uh, for pike, of course. And uh, of course, there are spots you can't see uh, above the water, especially when it's a bit deeper. And then that's when it's so useful to have a sonar or even a map to guide you uh, through your pike fishing day because then you can look for, for drop-offs uh, for, for yeah, when you have flat areas and they suddenly go down a little bit. It might be a good spot, but I, I really like when I go pike, uh, pike fishing to have f uh, flat areas, shallow areas, and then they drop abruptly at one point and that's where you want to fish because it's, the pike can hide in the structure, can uh, yeah, wait for its prey to come around and a uh, sonar is really, really useful. Um, you've seen me using today uh, one of those live sonars technologies from all the different brands that are on the market now. It's really useful, it's really nice, um, it costs lots of money and it can be very frustrating. So if you ask me, yes, I want one, but I don't always love it. Uh, I sometimes even hate it because you spend so much time looking on a screen and when you work in a job where you look at a screen, you don't want to look on a screen when you're fishing. So you have to decide, you want to try it and use it. It's good fun. It can be helpful because you see 20 meters wherever you point, you can see plants underwater, you can stop before and you don't have to drive over them or you see a school of bait fish 20 meters in front of you or behind, then you stop your belly boat and cast directly towards them. Sometimes you even see the fish following like today, it can happen. Um, but it, it doesn't mean that you necessarily need it. Yeah? But a sonar for belly boat fishing, even a little one that tells you the depths and if it's going up or down, I, I think it's really useful and I, I couldn't fish without a sonar at all. But uh, you have to decide what you want to spend and what's, yeah, what is needed for your fishing and your lakes or rivers where you're going. When you arrive at your structure, let's say for example a, a drop-off, um, I would recommend that fly fishing means uh, easy, easy, easy casting. Um, when you do easy casting, maybe you cast like 10 to 15 meters without any problem. Uh, for 20 meters from a belly boat you have to yeah, cast further, more effort. It's not always needed because you can go uh, closer to your spot where you want to fish. Um, you let your fly sink, of course, a bit, let it sink down, and then you start retrieving, and towards the drop, you slow down. So, because you want to fish the drop really, really nicely and as close to the structure and potential pike in it as you can get. Um, and, uh, yeah, of course, when it's the water's warmer, you fish a bit faster, uh, or when you, when you want to trigger them, but usually for pike fishing, I prefer to fish slowly, because that's what a fly is made for, a streamer. It's made for, for slow fishing and not like lures where you pull your, your, yeah, your, your wheel all the time. You, you fish fast. A streamer is really good and um, taking lots of fish when it's fished rather slowly with pauses. So you let it drop and all, usually on the drop you get a nice take uh, and that's the best you can get. Whether you fish slower or, or, or faster, always um, yeah, put some var var variation into your, your uh, stripping. So uh, retrieve it a bit farther, uh, for, um, faster, then wait a second, maybe one, two twitches and wait. Play around as much as you can, but at one point always make sure you fish slowly because that might be the best. And when you get the take, yeah, uh, and you feel it, the pike is really hitting it hard. Yeah, you can strip strike, of course, as well, but at least pull your rod up hard and try to set the hook. Usually it's deep in the pike's mouth because it's a light, a light lure, so to say, a light uh, artificial thing. Um, but uh, setting uh, the hook is important. Sometimes you will realize uh, when you want to strip again, you feel weight. And when you're not sure if it's bottom or pike, pull against it as well, because sometimes it is a pike that attacked from behind. Uh, swam onto the streamer and you don't feel anything just when you want to uh, yeah, move your fly again then you feel the fish so always make sure to set a good uh, to have a good hook set